Hello Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Now what's an Augie? An Augie is a subscriber to the channel that's put together by OG, which is the suffix of my call sign. When YouTube wanted me to put a uh, Oh, a logo together. The only thing I could finish in, or put in fit into the tiny little spot they gave me was just the letters OG and an exclamation point. So anyway, that makes uh, those who subscribe Augies. Uh, why have a name for the followers of a YouTube channel? Uh, why not? We've got Augies. All right, today's question comes from Steve Hayden, and he uh, answers a question that uh, I can uh, answer quickly but I want to give just a little bit more information about it. He says, hello Dave, I have a general radio telephone operator's license. Does that give me any privileges or help me toward a ham license? I had a novice license back in 1961 which was KN0 FMY. Thanks. The short answer to your question is no. Um, the general radio telephone is not going to give you anything toward your ham license. Let me tell you what you need to do to get your license. There are three, well there are multiple grades of license. There's novice, there is tech, there is general, there is advanced, and there is amateur extra. Okay, now all of those exist. There are people who have them. However, in a revolution of the way things were uh, redone, and this happened, oh golly, some years ago, um, they no longer will license novices or advanced. That leaves tech, general, and amateur extra. And there are tests that you have to pass. You have to pass them sequentially. There's element two, which will give you your tech. Element three, which will give you your general and element four, which will give you your amateur extra. Uh, the immediate question is what happened to element one. Element one um, was Morse code, and that has been eliminated as a requirement a long time ago. Now, if you are a novice or an advanced, you can continue to renew your license. If your license has expired and the grace period has expired, grace period is two years, then it's gone. You've got to start over again. So you have to take element two first, element three second, and it can be that same day or it can be years later, and element four again after these right here, okay? If you are a general, for example, you can come in and take element four and get your amateur extra. If you are advanced, you can come in, take your element four and get your amateur extra. Now, let us suppose that you were a general many years ago and it expired. And I'll just put expired here. And you're beyond the grace period and everything. This is a weird little exception, okay, but a very nice one. All you have to do is pass element two, which is pretty straightforward. That's the technician, okay. Pass element two, and your general will be renewed. You'll get a different call sign, but you can go into the um, uh, vanity call sign program and get a different call sign if you want. Um, and you'll get your general renewed. Now, if you had amateur extra before and it expired, you can pass element two and get your amateur extra. Here's the weird one. 
and I know people will jump up and down about this and do. If you were advanced and you take element two, you will become a general. And the reason for that is because the general uh, is now issued, the advanced is no longer issued. So if they're no longer issuing them, they can't give you a, a new one for that, okay? So this sort of explains the upgrade pattern. Now, I recommend to most people that they try for these at the same time, okay? At least get your tech and work on your general and then stop. Get on the air, put a station up, get on the air, use your general privileges, talk on HF, do DX, do contests, do rag chews, all of these different kinds of things like that. And then after a couple years, work on your amateur extra, okay? And then it will be far more meaningful to you. Because if you go all three in one, and I've seen many people go zero to extra in one sitting and I have found essentially none of those who have stayed active in the hobby the chances are very low I'm sure that I'm sure you're out there you're probably one saying wait a minute I did that okay so anyway most people if they go all the way at once um, sometimes it'll stick sometimes it won't uh, but if you do get your general, do get on uh, HF. Now, I want to tell you about one more thing that is good for you to do. Once you get your amateur extra, become a volunteer examiner. Their uh, ARRL is the biggest volunteer examiner coordinator. And the W5YI group is the second biggest. Now there are additional ones here and some of these like the Alaskan one are being very um, advanced in the idea of testing remotely so that you don't have to go to a VE session. Like here in our club on the Colorado uh, uh, the, the western slope of Colorado uh, is very thinly populated and we only give five tests a year and you probably don't want to wait all summer long for testing opportunity to come along but if you go to like ham test online or places like that they have listings of where you can do uh, online uh, sessions now the way they do this is have you go into a room that you can demonstratively prove has no reference material and that is either a completely empty room or more commonly the bathroom and you go in and you show with your uh, camera in real time every corner and nook and cranny in there the table where you're going to sit you close and lock the door if you are interrupted for any reason that ends that test session so they're very strict about this so you have to make sure that your family members understand the critical importance that before they come talk to you the house is better be on fire or something like that uh, the, otherwise that test session is canceled the fees are um, not refunded and so on but it can be done and has been done a lot during the pandemic so this gives you just a little bit more overview of the amateur licensing and uh, I hope that helps so there you have it if you would like to contribute financially to this channel you may certainly do so by going to decastlercom support Similarly, please subscribe. It tells YouTube that this is a channel worth sharing. And I hope you will join the ARRL and see the fun new things that are up there. And we'll talk to you all soon. Until we next meet, 73.